Hello, I'm Jocelyn Greenkey with GCA Studios, and my goal is to make some definitions in life reality for you guys who are wondering what certain terms mean, depending on the profession. And we are focusing on communications with Jane Hansen, who has spent 30 years in the television business at NBC in New York, and has her own communications consulting firm right now called Jane Hansen TV, of course, suitable for her. I have watched you for years. I am so happy and blessed that I get to know you and do all of this and interview you. And now I think it's just really important for those who are going back to work, switching, considering the profession in the first place to really have these terms up front and know what they're talking about so they don't look you know, like they're caught in a web and not know what they're doing when they're talking to professions. Right. So, um, what is a dead role? I've okay. never heard that term. Well, but you, you, I know you've witnessed it a million times. So how many times have you heard a newscaster's breaking in to a, uh, a show of some sort? And then at the end, when they're done, you hear a, a narrator of some sort, an announcer saying, and we now rejoin that program in progress, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, so a dead role is, even though um, a, a producer and a director at a television station will know that the news is going to interrupt, they also roll at the same time the show that's, that the, the, the interruption will be covering so that then they can go back to that show in progress immediately. Mm -hmm. Right. When, when the break-in is over. When you're doing live news like that, you don't really know how long you're going to be doing the break-in. It could be 30 seconds, it could be five minutes, it could be a, 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 you know, a whole day, who knows. But what they want to do is they can't let the timing go off. So they've got to make sure that the program stays on as scheduled, and if you miss part of it, you miss part of it. So that's what it okay. does. All right, cool, now we know. Uh, what is ENG? That stands for electronic news gathering, and it's an old term mm -hmm. that used to be used, or that still is used, but not quite so much as it once was, but that that's really all about gathering the news and the videography that's involved with it. Okay. Who does that? Um, well, I think anybody that's involved in a broadcast, really, if you say ENG, an ENG team uh, would be your videographer, uh, maybe there's a sound person, a producer, whomever okay, is so it's, not, it's not the responsibility of somebody in front of the camera. It's a production term. Well, it is, except that sometimes in today's world, people who are in front of the camera also do their own recording and their own shooting of video. I see. So, yeah, so like you're doing right now. We're actually shooting yeah, ourselves. Okay. We are. We are. All right. so we are producers and we're talent. Right. We think. Uh, I love that. I'm a producer and I'm talent. Finally. Um, spot. A spot. We'll, uh, we'll say it, it's our news segment. That's how we use it in the news world. Um, a spot is also a television commercial. It's okay. Really, so so it's just, multiple meanings. One is a television com commercial and the other is? Mm -hmm. Is when you, like I'll say, I have a spot on tonight's news, which means I've got a segment on the newscast. Okay, per, and a segment is, you just led me right into that term. Well, a segment is, um, a segment is a piece that I might be doing as a, as a news reporter for, for a newscast. It might also be an interview. It might be, um, it's really a segment that goes into another production. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, Chiron, I know, we, I, I know what it is, but explain to us because that's a very typical term you'll hear on any kind of production set a chiron is actually the, the information that goes maybe underneath your face that has your name and your title on it um it, it's, a, it's a it's a piece of equipment is it not well there is a piece of equipment that's called that but more frequently it's used as what's the chiron give me a chiron give me a, so it's a caption it's your title. It's anything that goes underneath, usually, the, um, the name of the person. Not to, be, um, not to be confused with a crawl, which is when you see uh, some information that crawls across the bottom of the screen. Right. You're using somewhat of the same technique. A chiron might be more stationary and 
uh, but they're, they're, they're things can be typed in instantly, like maybe there's a headline. Like when you're watching, say, a CNN, and you'll see various headlines. When somebody's being interviewed, you'll see a headline that'll show up of some sort. That's really a chyron. Okay, so the chyron is used to produce a chyron, which also could be a crawl. Well, kind of, sort of. A crawl crawls, a chyron is stationary. Okay, so very good. That, that's an excellent determination because so many words are applicable in different ways. Mm -hmm. That's why we're going through this. Okay, last one for today's lower third. Oh, well, actually, it's the same thing. A lower third would be a television. I don't know if you remember, we've gotten more and more and more and more information on our television screens when we watch a newscast. It used to be you would see the news anchor and there'd probably be a slide up over here of something, right? Right. Now, you see on the lower third of the screen, that's actually where the chyron or the crawl appears. So think about lower third is the lower third of the screen. Mm -hmm. And we use different parts of the screen. Um, like we say, full screen means you're in full screen right now because all we're seeing is you. So that's a full screen picture. Um, so when it says lower third, it could mean what's in the lower third of the, of the, of the screen. Okay, perfect. Am I confusing you? <laughs> Fine with me. <laughs> uh, all right, listen, thank you so much. I don't want to go on because we know all of our viewers really want short pieces of news, which is what we're providing. Right. Thank you, GCA Studios, and we will be back. All right, bye.